Hello, welcome to the Watling Valley Church's Palm Sunday video. I hope that you'll find in these few short moments that we share together some words or images or thoughts that will help you not only celebrate today, but also prepare for Holy Week. In this video, I'll be joined by some familiar faces, Reverend Adedeo, Mike and Barry, and also familiar, I hope, to at least some of you, Reverend John Robertson, who is the Director for Ecumenical Mission for Milton Keynes, and he'll be sharing some thoughts and reflections with us a little later on. Well, the stage is set. The curtain has risen. The last great act in the drama of Jesus' life has begun. Today we celebrate his ride into the holy city in Jerusalem, acclaimed like a king, the palms strewn before him, hosannas ringing in his ears. And so, Jesus, may we welcome you today. May our voices join together to give you praise, and may we honour you in all we think or do or say. In this time of separateness and anxiety, I think we all long for peace. Let's remember that Christ is our peace and he calls to us with his peace. So may the peace of the Lord be always with you. Well, Palm Sunday is indeed a day of celebration and yet the shadows are already gathering. Jesus rode into Jerusalem knowing that he would end the week in confrontation with the authorities and he would die. And he knew that when it came, his death wouldn't result in the glorious state funeral normally reserved for kings and great leaders. As we travel through Holy Week, the terrible story unfolds. And we discover that Jesus' death would be a criminal's execution. He'd be rejected and abandoned, left to his fate, alone. Jesus knew that his entry into Jerusalem and all the frenzied adulation would stir the anger and arouse the jealousy of the establishment, bringing it all to a head. Passion in every sense of the word. And yet Jesus didn't flinch from the shadows or the danger. He didn't flinch from the anger and the hatred of others. He didn't even flinch from his own fears. And he encourages us to face ourselves with the same clear eyes and to trust in his mercy. So let's take a moment quietly to think of all the ways in which we have failed to welcome Jesus and the fullness of his life into our lives. Lord Jesus, forgive us when we have not welcomed you as we should. Forgive us when we have not recognised your presence with us. Forgive us when our lives have not honoured you or when what we say has not given you the glory. Because, we have too, because we've been too busy to see your glory, too self-absorbed to receive your gifts, too selfish to share your love. Forgive us, Lord. Amen. And may the Lord Jesus enter your life today to forgive and to heal and to fill your heart with praise. All glory to his name, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 21, reading from verse 1. Hear the Gospel of Christ. Glory to Christ our Saviour. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfil what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, 
Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Today is a big day. Palm Sunday is always a big day. It's a day for a carnival, a carnival procession. 
They look around for a float, can't find one, so they invest in a donkey. People are looking to celebrate. There's a lot of joy around, a lot of expectation around. They've armed themselves with branches to wave about a bit. They've got cloaks that they don't mind chucking on the ground. They're looking for a good time. They're looking for a party. There's smiles and laughter all round. Joy really is in the air. Palm Sunday is a big day. Palm Sunday is always a big day. There's a lot of tension around because this is a day of challenge, a very public challenge. It starts on the Mount of Olives. Except the Mount of Olives isn't an innocent place to start because the Mount of Olives, according to the prophet Zechariah, was the place where God would stand to defeat the nations which had plundered Jerusalem. Jesus' choice of starting point for his carnival is deliberate, it's challenging. And he starts on a donkey, not just in the absence of a carnival float, but because a donkey was seen as the royal beast that will carry the king on their coronation day towards their throne. And yes, people are spreading cloaks on the road, exactly as they did for Jehu when he was crowned king. This isn't a Walter Raleigh moment, it's a king moment. And yes, they're waving palm branches around. But that was precisely the thing that was done at the coronation of a king. If you read Psalm 118, you'll find the procession in all its glory laid out there as the king came into Jerusalem every year to be crowned. And as part of that procession, people waved palm branches. So Jesus is particularly specifically picking up those echoes of the old kings riding into Jerusalem on their donkeys to be crowned. He's saying, I stand in that line. In other words, I am the Messiah that you've been looking for. This is the day when the Messiah comes to Jerusalem. And that's got to be a challenge. It's certainly a challenge for those who are in power, for the Romans and for the Jewish authorities. This is quite a threat. It's also a challenge to the people because it invites their decision, their allegiance. Palm Sunday is a big day. It's a day of both joy and challenge. And it's a day of joy and challenge out there in public. Jesus doesn't do things in a hole in a corner. It's out there. So for those of us who would follow Jesus today, who are now in a Palm Sunday in 2020. The question for us is, do we do so with joy? Do we do so with public joy? And does our joy challenge those around us to see Jesus afresh, perhaps take him seriously for the first time? And in this strange new world, in which coronavirus has forced us into lockdown, where is our public joy? Where is our public challenge? How do we go about doing that? 
let me invite you to explore such things over the coming weeks and months. Amen. Well, it wouldn't be Palm Sunday without a palm cross. You may not have a palm cross actually with you because the current restrictions made it quite difficult to get them out to anybody. But we can have a pretty good substitute. In this next section of video, Reverend Mike is going to show us how to make a cross out of a piece of paper. So if you don't have one to hand, can I suggest that you pause the video now, go off and find yourself a piece of paper and then come back and see how it's done. So I'm going to teach you how to make one of these, a palm cross made out of paper. What you need is a strip of paper, at least A4 size. You can have bigger if you've got some at home, but um, A4 is probably the minimum really. You need to find the middle, um, or roughly the middle, and take the right hand side and fold it up to make a right angle, like so. You then fold that same piece down the back and back up again to make a square. Take the side piece and fold it across the front like so and then thread it through the square at the back and create a knot like so and that's what you should have. Taking the top piece you thread it down through the square at the front and as you can see my piece of paper isn't straight so if that's the case you just need to fold the end a little bit and then that will help you to thread it through and you thread it through, don't put it all the way down because this is the upright of the cross. So like so. Turn the piece around, take the side piece and thread that through the square at the front. Pull it so far and then thread the end back through that square and here you've got a little fiddly bit as you try and make sure that the arms of the cross are roughly the right size and there you have your palm cross. Have a go, see how you get on in making these. When you have made it you might want to say a prayer over it uh, or join me with a prayer over these crosses and over your cross. So let's pray. Bless to me this cross loving God. May it help me to praise you from my heart today. May it help me to understand how much it cost you to die for me. As I live through this holy week, and all through the coming year, may it remind me you have promised to be with me always and that I have promised to follow you always. Amen. To the clip clap beat of the donkey's feet Everybody sing your praises to the king as the people shout and the stones cry out. Everybody sing your praises to the king. Everybody sing your praises to the king. Go into the village, said Jesus to his friends, and find a cult that's never had a rider. The owner us to say the cult is for me, and that's the only reason you've untied her to the clip clap beat of the donkey's feet. Everybody sing your praises to the king as the people shout and the stones cry out. Everybody sing the praises to the king. Everybody sing your praises to the king. Donkey cold and led it back to Jesus.
faces like he told them They took their coats and put them like a saddle on its back And Jesus headed up towards Jerusalem To the clip club beat of the donkey's feet Everybody sing your praises to the king And the people shout and the stones cry out Everybody sing your praises to the king Everybody sing Before him like a carpet on the street While others cut down palms along the way And laid them on the road as well to make a leafy lane Then voices raised as one began to say Blessed is the one who comes here in God's name Hosanna in the highest to his praise Who brings the promised kingdom of David to his own Sing and shout, our God's name Blessed is the one who comes here in God's name Hosanna in the highest in His praise Who brings the promised kingdom of David to His own Sing and shout, our God's come to save But some religious leaders were not pleased with what they saw Tell them to be quiet, they complained If all my friends were silent, said Jesus with a smile the rocks would sing instead and praise God's name Everybody sing As the people shout and the stones cry out Everybody sing the praises to the King pray. Lord, we thank you and we bless you for another day. We give you glory over each and every one of us. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for those good and perfect gift that comes from above. We thank you for another Palm Sunday. We give you glory for your death on the cross that we may have life and have it even more abundantly. Lord, we want to rededicate ourselves unto you today, that our lives will speak of your glory, that the works of our hands will be acceptable unto you, that in all the things that we do, the people that we meet, that they may experience your love through us. Use us as an instrument of your service here on earth, O God. And we pray even for ourselves at this time. A challenging time. But we know that you have all things in your hands. Because you have promised that you would always be with us no matter what we go through. And therefore, as your people, we trust that you have a plan for us. A plan to prosper us and not to destroy us. A plan to bring us to an expected end. So Lord, as we are living under these exceptional circumstances in which some are working from home, key workers are going to their offices, we pray that you would give us grace to work diligently at this time to channel our energies towards the right and positive things. We pray that the time that some of us are spending at home will be an opportunity for us to bond as families. It will be an opportunity where we would be more united even than before. We pray for your church. It is also a difficult time for the church where we are unable to meet physically, 
where we are unable to go out like we used to and do the things that we need to do. But we pray that we will have the grace to use all the things, all the available things that we have at our disposal to reach out to people around us, to reach out to our communities, to touch lives, to support those who are in need. We pray for those who are sick. We pray that your healings will be upon them. We pray for the brokenhearted. We pray that you will comfort them. We pray for those who are looking up to you for one thing or the other. We pray that they will receive from you according to your will. We pray, O oh God, for those who are working in health services with NHS and other health agencies. We pray, Lord, that you would um, be with them at this particularly difficult time. We pray, Lord, that they, 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 they will find peace despite all the things that, that surrounds them. When they are discouraged, Lord, we pray that you would encourage them. When they feel broken hearted because of the things they see and experience, we pray that your spirit will lift them up. And we pray for our governments, um, the governments of all nations on earth. We pray, Lord, that at this time, that godly counsels will be available unto them, that the decisions they will take will help to save life, would help to protect people from infection. May they learn to do your will, O God, and may righteousness run through the streets of our nations. May we see this as an opportunity to show the love of Christ to those who are around us. We pray, Lord, that this week, as some walk from home and some go to work, let your protection be upon us, let your peace be in our hearts, and let your favor cover us everywhere we go. These and many more we ask in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us say the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As the shadows gather in, there's a heck of a week in store for Jesus, for Jesus the King. The palms and the passion, rejoicing and sorrow, death and life, love and sacrifice, heaven and hell. But Jesus knows who he is and he knows what he's come for. He will face it, he will stay the distance. Will you stay with him? As we travel with Jesus into Holy Week, may we remember that eternal life comes only after sacrifice. All this world's glory means nothing if we don't offer it up to our Heavenly Father for him to do with us as he will. And so as we commit ourselves to his service, the blessing of God Almighty, the first and last, beginning and end, be with you today, this Holy Week, and always. Amen.